heaven, West Virginia. The gentlelady from Minnesota is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield one minute to the gentlewoman from Georgia. The gentlewoman from Georgia is recognized. We've heard a lot about text messages. I'd like to the Democrats and the people on the January 6th committee to produce their text messages. Mr. Speaker, denouncing Antifa BLM riots that raged across American cities for a year. I would love to read those. But instead, we saw Democrats encourage, incite, and continue to call these riots peaceful. And then when they got arrested and put in jail, they bailed them out so they could go out and riot some more. I rise in opposition to this resolution to hold Mark Meadows in contempt of Congress because it's being held by nothing but a kangaroo court. Congress's job is to make laws, not enforce them. That's the role of the executive and the judicial branch of this government. But somehow the communists here in charge have forgotten, or no, not forgotten, or purposely abusing the Constitution and what this... All right, guys, that's the end of the video. And she's 100% right. This is a kangaroo court. This ain't about finding the truth or bringing justice. This has to do with politics. Because if it had anything to do with anything else, they would release the 1,400 hours of video they have of what happened that day. But they haven't. Another thing they'll try to find out is why Nancy Pelosi told the uh, National Guard to stay da stand down in the Capitol that day. But they hadn't looked into any of that or even released any of it. So what does that tell you? They're not looking for the truth. They're not looking for what happened that day. The only thing they're trying to do is using this for politics. Try to make sure the Republicans don't take the Senate and the House in 2022 and make sure that Donald Trump doesn't win the presidency in 2024. That is their end goal. Now, is it going to work? I don't think so. I think most American people know what they're trying to do. But they're going to keep on doing that because the fact is if Republicans take over the Senate and the House, especially the Republicans that aren't establishment Republicans, Trump Republicans, or Donald Trump takes the White House, their money that they've been making while he's been out of office is gone. The question you have to ask is how many of them have uh, stocks in the stock market when it comes to uh, pharmaceuticals? Not only that, how many of them have uh, money in the stock market when it comes to ecotech for green energy? I bet you anything most of them do, especially the Democrats and the establishment Republicans, people like Liz Cheney. You know they do. And that's the reason they want to keep uh, Trump Republicans out of there and Trump out of the White House. But guys, that's my opinion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.